Hello everyone and welcome back to our video. Today we're going to try out Throne and Liberty on the Steam Deck. As you can see, the Steam the game has controller support, which means you can play the game with controller, which makes sense since it's going to be released on the console. Let's dive into it. The console version is scheduled for Q2 of this year, um, but let's see if they keep the words of that. So basically you can see I'm in right now, even the menu out here has controller support, which um, is something other than most can learn from. They don't have like control support here in the menu, but actually inside the game. So you can see we can basically select a character, we can delete a character, we can press new game, but I'm just gonna click on, hold down A to log on into my character. There we go. As you can see, I am playing right now. There we go. It just just needs a low load. As you can see, there I, I bait my own tongue. There we go. There, as you can see, we the, the frame rate is kind of smooth, even though there's a lot of people around me. The FPS is really smooth. Before we start playing, let me show you something about my settings. So basically, my settings. Because it's the Steam Deck, it's you know Steam Deck is getting kind of old now, and the hardware in it is like getting worse, if you know what I mean. So if we go to graphics, you can see here that I'm playing full screen, uh, 60 frame rate, vertical sync. We can't use Nvidia's DLSS because it's not Nvidia; it's an AMD device. So I have changed my AMD FSR to quality. If you disable this. It will not downscale the resolution at all. It will of course make the game look way better, but if you get like any FPS issues, it won't help you. Um, the cool thing with FSR is that it basically will scale down the resolution automatically in case some lag is gonna happen. So for me, I love having FSR on, on not on my main PC, like on, for my gaming PC, probably not. But for my um, Steam Deck, I really enjoy having it. And again, if you really want like the best, best, best possible performance, you can also set, put it on ultra performance, but then it will make sure that it runs hot, like it will make sure that it runs like almost 60 frames all the time, but the graphics also get very more blurry um, because it tries to scale down the resolution. Also, I can hear the fan is going crazy right now. Like the fan sounds like an airplane. So let's put it back on quality. There you go. Now it tries to make the game looks as best as possible uh, and try to hit, you know, those 60 frames. Of course, if you really want to like uh, have frame rate over quality, then take the one called best performance. But as you can see, you don't have to do anything with controllers. The game works perfectly for Steam Deck um, because, you know, the controllers are working for it. The thing is, uh, if you play it as me on a Windows, you of course need some kind of like application that will enable your controllers to be like an Xbox controller. Um, since this, but when this game actually released in Europe and NA, you can uh, just play through Steam because Steam will automatically make the controller work. So there's no problem once it comes out on Steam. It's only right now that we play on this um, uh, what, what we call it um, the Korean server. Only f with the Korean server we have this issue that you need another application to make what the hell uh, to make the um, the controllers actually work. But as you can see, it's smooth. Changing weapon, we can use the different spells down here. So pretty smooth. You can see controls are working very well. Um, how did I turn into an animal? I can't remember that. Oh, there we go. I had to click on the controller to control itself. But yeah, you have to live with the, the Steam Deck. It it um it makes a lot of noises. Like the fans are going crazy. But I mean, it's just a matter of like putting up uh, you know the the sound high enough, then you don't hear the the fans. Or if you put a headset on, attach a headset. I think it has like yeah, it has jack stick there, or Bluetooth, or even USB C. If you just like give it a, a headset, you won't have any problems. All right, let's try and find some combat. As you can see, 
The game runs very smooth. Open world. There we go. Attack. And we can see it, it has a bit lag spikes, so we, we could, we could, you know, we, we could go in here and say, hey, I want ultra performance. And then it makes sure that the game is, oh, and I, I forgot to show you, all my quality is on low. So every single thing that I could find is on low. So very important, everything on low. So now we have it on ultra performance. So it ignores quality, but it basically just makes sure that the game will run smooth. If you want double the amount of uh, battery time, uh, enable 30 frames only. That will give you way more battery time. But you can also see that the game is, is kind of like locked now. Well, I'm actually not sure it can actually, it still feels like 60. But if it actually works, um, 30 frames should give you so much more battery because 60 frames is just way more heavier for the device. But it didn't really even feel like it changed. Uh, I think it did, because now it feels way more smoother. Works pretty well. I was there, no problems at all. So um, then we can open up the map. Works very well. Zooming in, zooming out. Let's go to the main city, the first city. Move over there. So again, I mean, the, the purpose of this video is basically just to show you that it's actually possible to play this game on a Steam Deck. If you want to know how I did it, you know, um, I have a, I have a guide on how to play on Korea server. It's basically the same thing, just on the Steam Deck, you know. You install the VPN, you install the launcher, you log in with the account and basically play. Uh, but again, it has to be run in Windows, because this would not work on the Steam OS with, with, with the VPN and all that. So yeah, I mean, pretty cool. Nothing really, and again, I mean, if we try it, <laughs> let's see, let's try something fun. Let's try going to quality, and uh, so it recommends low. Let's try to say high, and let's see how that goes. Because the game is, of course, gonna look way better. Wow, okay, you could just see the background how much better it looks, but yeah, look, look at the frame rate. It is. It looks as stunning. Like the game looks so much better now. But yeah, it doesn't like that. We need a bit better handhelds for doing stuff like that. So yeah, your Steam, your Steam Deck is definitely gonna be the you know low spec running, and um, it's just gonna be for like you went on the go, and you are just having a quick you know driving with public transport or something like that. And you just need to do some grinding because this game you can keep grinding like non-stop so yeah thanks for watching everyone this was um the steam deck edition of uh, throne of liberty hope you enjoyed the video and uh, let me know what you think about it peace out have a good day oh and uh, i stream on twitch.tv slash dvalin d-v-a-l-i-n d-v-a-l-i-n yeah sorry uh, I stream on every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So if you want to watch me actually live stream this game, then um, feel free to come by and watch me play the game and ask any questions you want. Thanks for watching. Bye.